just a two-year deal. Nice little two-year deal. Yeah. Well, now it's time to switch up. We are still going to be talking about the Euro semi-final, but first we have one more topic, and that is the new Nintendo Switch. Is it the Switch Plus? Should no, we, it's not it, the Switch Plus. Is, is it, it's is not it the special, Switch Pro either. It's not the Switch Pro. Is it? No. What is it? What it is, is the Switch OLED. That's a real, real good ring to name that. Really Silence. rolls off the tongue. Dead side. Really um, rolls off the tongue. Well, it, to give some basic information, this new Switch model, which they're calling at the moment the uh, new Nintendo Switch uh, OLED or OLED, however you want to say it, um, it will be releasing on October 8th worldwide. And we do have a US price tag of $349.99. Uh, UK is $399.99. Okay, they did announce it. They had to add that, that 309, <laughs> didn't they? They had to add that. Why do they always... I, I, hate, I hate every company that does the shit. Anyway, I love Nintendo, but they, they're part of the problem sometimes. Uh, the new model will feature a wide 7-inch OLED screen, uh, something that I believe the PS Vita had back in the day, or at least maybe not 7 inches, but it was quite a decent size and it was an OLED screen. And also, let's let's be honest, it's not that much different to the screen size it already has. Yes. So the PS Vita we're, we're, is we'll the talk, superior I'll, console. Please buy it if you can find I'll, one. I'll lay my grievances later. We'll describe the console first. Then we'll, then we'll um, talk about it. Nothing. The, the size has changed. I think it's doubled from... Not size. I mean the um, storage space storage, is yeah. 64 gigabytes. Uh, yes. meg- um, I don't remember what thing they do as opposed to 32. It won't be a megabyte, Jesus. It'll be gigabyte, yeah. There'll be nothing on it. I know, I was I was about to say, <laughs> wait, it's, what am I talking about? Yeah, um, gigabytes as opposed to the 32, which the base switch has, which is terrible, which is absolutely dog. Garbage. It's a bit like it's three garbage. games on that. Uh, but luckily, SD cards are very cheap. But... I don't actually know any of the other changes, do you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's also going to include a LAN port, so when it's uh, docked, you can uh, plug that in so okay. it's use Wi-Fi. Um, apparently has better speakers for this new audio system that they have into it, um, and also the um, the stand on the back of it for if you're uh, just using it on tabletop mode, instead of being a very thin on one side, very awkward stand that doesn't work a lot of the time, because it's too heavy on one side and will fall, it's actually going to cover the entire back of the console now, uh, so it's a bit more stable, and it's also going to be released in a white version, as, lo- as well as the traditional uh, two neon colours uh, for the Switch, and I believe that's everything. <laughs> so-, <laughs> so it's not more powerful than the original Switch, which is what everyone is expecting from the Switch Pro. Yeah. Um, it's, it's... But there's still no 4K. It's, yeah, it's not graphically better. The resolution won't yeah. be better. Um, uh, the battery life isn't better. Um, so, so I'm going to propose a question to you, Sean. Is this worth it to someone who already has a Nintendo Switch? No. If you already have a Switch, do not bother getting this. It, it is not worth your time. It's £30 more expensive than the normal one. and You might be able really... to get a trade-in offer. But, but even then, it's not going to be worth it that much the amount of, what basically what you need to do is is if it's going to cost you 30 pound more use that 30 pound to buy yourself a good memory card and you've effectively got the same thing yeah, yeah. because oh. the screen size isn't large enough to make that much of a difference if i'm honest because if you're that bothered about the screen being smaller you'd play it in docked mode anyway and use a tv or a monitor you know to have a bigger screen i didn't even think about that and holy <laughs> fuck what's the point <laughs> <laughs> so it's a slightly big bigger handheld one which at the end of the day do you for what you're gaining you, you don't really need it that's the thing is yeah. that the difference it's going to make isn't that big the probably the only thing that will make a difference um is the LAN port if you do have a bit of a unstable wi-fi connection that you can plug that in instead so if you're playing online that would help you out um that's the thing I, yeah. that's what i like but yeah, I agree. It's probably not worth it. There will be people out there that will buy it, uh, but those people are usually ones that play their Switch a lot more than probably we do. 
all um, the people that collect switches, uh, they like the different yeah. limited edition ones, the different stars that come out, they'll have a collection of them. Or if you're someone who doesn't yet have a switch and are looking to get one, maybe for the new games coming out this uh, Christmas, um, then you may be looking at it because in that case, why not? Because it is the newer version. Admittedly, you're not getting much more for it, but it is the newer one. Um, and you obviously do get those little extra bits, but if you're someone who has a Switch already, it's completely pointless. <laughs> and especially, it's £100 more expensive than a Switch Lite. Yeah. So if you do want it to be in handheld, you might as well just use that. The screen size isn't much different, and if you're not bothered about using it in docked mode at all or anything, you might as well spend only the £200 for the Switch Lite instead. So, sorry, £130, because it's £100 less expensive than the original. Oh, no, it's £110. Okay, this is awful. This uh, what I'm reading. It's 110 pound less. It's right. less. Yeah, it's less. So, and it's not really that different. For whatever you want it for, there's better options out out there. Um, so unless you are someone who likes having the the newest one just for the sake of having the newest one, or for some reason the point whatever of an inch on the screen difference is really bugging you that you want to spend 310 pound to make that difference. It's up to you, but I personally don't think it's worth it at all. Neither do I. Eh? Neither do I. So if they if they brought it out in four K, they had four K output and uh, maybe more processing power. So it looking like it's going to make a difference to these new games coming out later this year. Then yeah, definitely makes a difference because you're going to have a more enjoyable experience with those new games. But you're not. It's going to be exactly the same. Well. That has been the Nintendo Switch news. There's not much else we can say about it, but it's one of those which was met with probably probably worthwhile worthwhile worthy criticism. Sorry. Um, yeah, it was massively hyped, um, and with speculation of what was going to be part of it, so you can understand why people are disappointed. And yeah, yeah. 